In this video, we will be solving part A and part B of this question which says Elmo finds himself at a coke machine on a hot and dusty Sunday. The coke machine requires exact change, two quarters and a dime. No other combination of coins will make anything come out of the machine. No stores are open. No one is in sight. Elmo is so thirsty that the only thing he cares about is how many soft drinks he will be able to buy with a change in his pocket. The more he can buy, the better. While Elmo searches his pocket, your task is to draw some indifference curves that describe Elmo preferences about what he finds. Now note that the Coke machine requires the exact change which is two quarters and a dime, which means that this proportion should always be maintained by Elmo. And since this is a fixed proportion, that means the good in this particular case are the change in his pockets, which are quarters and dimes. And since they're consumed in fixed proportion, that means they are perfect complements. So what do you mean by perfect complements? By definition, perfect complements are good that are always consumed together in fixed proportions. In some sense, the goods complement each other. So these are indifference curves for perfect complements where on the x-axis you have right shoes and on the y-axis you have left shoes. And since they're always consumed together, that's why they're perfect complements. The consumer always wants to consume the goods in fixed proportion to each other. That means to every right shoe, he would want a left shoe. That means in this case, the proportion is 1. 1 is to 1. And hence the indifference curve are L shape, where the direction of preference is this that is shown by the arrows. But having a proportion of 1 is to 1 would not be the case every time. Like in our question, we have a proportion of 2 is to 1 where we have 2 quarters and 1 time. So let's draw the indifference curve for this. We have quarters on the x-axis and dimes on the y-axis and since they are consumed in fixed proportion which is 2 is to 1 that is 2 quarters and 1 dime hence they are perfect complements which means they will have L-shaped graphs just like this. Now since machine accepts the combination of two quarters and one dime hence the vertex which is this edge or corner point of the l-shaped curve would be at this point that is two comma one which is two quarters and one dime which would be approximately somewhere here thus the graph would look like this with the vertex at 2 comma 1. Now note that any point on this vertical line, consider for example the point 2 comma 6 which is this. So consider that is your 2 comma 6. So here Elmo has 2 quarters and 6 dimes. But these additional 5 dimes are of no use to him as the machine only accepts 2 quarters and 1 dime. Thus he would be left with 5 extra dimes. So despite having these 5 extra dimes, he will still be able to buy 1 soft drink from the machine. Here we are assuming that the machine gives out one soft drink with two quarters and one dime. So despite having five extra dime, he will be able to get one soft drink from the machine, making him just as satisfied as he is if Elmo had two quarters and one dime. Now here I'm particularly assuming that the machine gives out only one soft drink can with two quarters and one dime. Thus Elmo would be getting one soft drink can if he has two quarters and six dimes and he would be having one soft drink can if he has two quarters and one dime. So at both of these points or both of these situations, Elmo is getting equal amount of soft drink cans. Thus his satisfaction level would be same, which means Elmo would be indifferent between these two points. Likewise, if we take the horizontal portion of the indifference curve, suppose for example, the point six comma one, which would be here. So it is 6 comma 1. Here Elmo will be able to have one soft drink only and his five quarters are a waste to him. Also note that no one is in sight which means he cannot convert these quarters to dimes. Thus again Elmo would be indifferent between these two points as he is able to get only one soft drink. That, thus his satisfaction level would be same. Thus all these points are lying on the same indifference curve. Now what if he has four quarters and two dimes? 
Here he will be able to buy two soft drink cans, giving him a higher satisfaction level. Thus, Elmo would move to a higher indifference curve, which has a vertex at four comma two. Likewise, if he has six quarters and three dimes, then he will be able to buy three soft drinks, leading him to this indifference curve, which has a vertex at six comma three. Now, note that there cannot be any indifference curve. For Elmo, which has vertices other than these, of course, Elmo would have higher ind indifference curve. But but if he has two quarters and one dime, or four quarters and two dimes, or six quarters and three dimes, he these would be the only indifference curve he would be having. What I'm trying to say, he won't be having any indifference curve having the vertex at suppose for this point It would be something of the form five comma three. As again, he will be only able to use four quarters and two dimes, leading him to this indifference curve. So be very careful where your vertices are. So having the indifference curve like this is not possible. So after drawing the indifference curve, let's move to the first part, which says if Elmo has two quarters and a dime in his pocket, he can buy one soft drink. How many soft drinks can he buy if he has four quarters and two dimes? So that means if he has, according to the question, if he has two quarters and one dime, where Q stands for quarters and D stands for dime, then he would be able to have one soft drink, whereas D represents soft drink. Now, what if he has four quarters and two dimes? Now, note that the amount in his pocket has doubled, which means the soft drink he would be able to buy out of the machine would also double. Thus, he would be able to have two soft drinks if he has four quarters and two dimes in his pocket. So the answer to this question is two soft drinks. Now let's move on to the next part, which says use red ink to shade in the area on the graph consisting of all the combinations of quarters and dimes that Elmo thinks are just indifferent to having two quarters and one dime. Imagine that it is possible for Elmo to have fraction of quarters or of dime but of course they would be useless in the machine now use blue ink to shade in the area consisting of all the combination that elmo thinks are just indifferent to having four quarters and two dimes notice that elmo has indifferent bands and not indifference curves now this question has two parts in the first part we have to use the red ink to do something and in the second part we have to use the blue ink to do something so let's solve this question one by one recalling from the previous part these were the indifference curve that elmo had now now this red is the indifference curve showing elmo preferences when he has two quarters and one dime and elmo would be indifferent along the indifference curve as we discussed in the previous part that is if he has plenty of dimes but only two quarters that is anywhere on this vertical line all the extra dimes are useless as machine only accept two quarters and one dime thus he will be able to get only one soft ring thus keeping him at the same satisfaction level likewise on this horizontal line also he will be able to have only one soft ring as all the extra quarters are of no use to him again giving him same satisfaction level thus elmo would be indifferent along the indifference curve hence it is in same color that is we have shaded it in red as asked in the question here but now what if elmo has three quarters and three dimes which would be a point somewhere here so machine would only accept two quarters and one dime does the extra one quarter and one dime in his pocket are useless as they give elmo the same amount of soft drink to him as the combination two quarters and one dime, thus keeping him at the same satisfaction level. So Elmo would be indifferent between these two points. Now consider the combination three quarters and seven dime, which would be a point here. Again, machine will only accept two quarters and one dime, thus the extra one quarter and five dime in his pockets are useless as Elmo would be having the same amount of soft ring as he would be having if he had two quarters and one dime in his pocket. Thus again keeping him at the same satisfaction level. Hence again Elmo would be indifferent between this point and this point and this point. 
Likewise, Elmo would be indifferent along all these points. Or we can say this entire region, the one we have shaded in red, which includes this red indifference curve. So the color might seem a light and dark, but that is the case so that you're able to distinguish between the indifference curve and the indifference band. Now note that earlier we used to have the single indifference curve where the consumer was indifferent but here we have the entire region where the consumer is indifferent so in case of perfect complements we have indifferent bands and not indifferent curves thus the red shaded region on the graph consists of all the combination of quarters and dimes that elmo thinks are just indifferent to having two quarters and one dime now let's move to the second part of the question where we have to use the blue wing to shade in the area consisting of all the combination that Elmo thinks are just indifferent to having four quarters and two dimes. So what happens if Elmo has four quarters and two dimes? He will be on this indifference curve which is shaded blue which is this indifference curve which is this one. Note that this indifference curve was not the part of red indifference band as now with four quarters and two dimes Elmo will be able Able to have more soft rings as compared to when he had two quarters and one dime. Thus, he will have higher satisfaction level. As a result, he will be on higher indifference curve. Now again, Elmo would be indifferent throughout this blue curve. But what if he has five quarters and three dimes? So which would be a point somewhere here. And this is a point where he has four quarters and two dimes and at this point he has five quarters and three dimes so when he had four quarters and two dimes he was able to get two soft rings but now he has five quarters and three dimes out of these five quarters and three dimes he would be able to use four quarters and two dimes leaving him with one quarter and one dime so these four quarters and two dimes would give him two soft drinks. But this one quarter and one dime are useless to him. Note that despite having five quarters and three dimes, he is again able to get two soft drinks only. Thus giving him the same satisfaction level as he would be getting if he had four quarters and two dimes. Hence he would be indifferent between these two points as he is getting the same satisfaction level. So just like before, Elmo would be indifferent at all these points or we can say that this entire region. So his indifference band consists of all combination that Elmo thinks are just indifferent to having four quarters quarters and two dimes which is shaded in blue which includes the blue indifference curve but does not include the green one as that would give him a higher satisfaction level. Hence the red region consists of all the combination of quarters and dime that Elmo thinks are just indifferent to having two quarters and one dime and blue region consists of all the combination that Elmo thinks are just indifferent to having four quarters and two dimes.